Okay, today's topic is going to be, do I need an estate plan? And the answer is, very briefly, if you have assets, if you have children, if you have a spouse, or any combination of those, yes, you do. What an estate plan does is creates a pathway for your heirs to know what to do with whatever it is you leave behind. And to follow your wishes and make sure that your assets are disposed of in the way you would like. Now, that can be charitably, that can be to take care of a relative, it can be just sell everything and divide up the money, it can be whatever you like, but you must really, in order to take care of your heirs, you must really leave a plan. Otherwise, the state comes in and divides it up according to the state law, depending on what state you reside uh, when, you, when you pass. Now, um, the, the, one of the very most important decisions is, do I need an executor? Who should be my executor? And every state does need one. And what you have to do when you choose your executor is you need to be very honest and very frank among your friends, your children, your spouse, you pick someone who has both good judgment and wisdom. Those people are the ones that will decide among your heirs how we divide up the assets, how we pay the creditors. So they have a lot of power, they have a lot of responsibility, and they are responsible to the state for reporting your estate correctly. They're responsible to each of the beneficiaries to distribute your assets in accordance with your wishes. So it's a job with a lot of power and a lot of responsibility. And sometimes when there's assets that nobody knows about or when there's family acrimony that crops up and you know it happens more often than we would like, those people have to make the decision as to how to handle whatever it is that pops up. Now, um, a lot of people want to know if uh, a trust is an important part or a required part of an estate? And the answer is neither of those things is true. Sometimes trusts are very effective and very efficient in terms of disposing of assets, but no one needs to have a trust. It doesn't really cost any more from an estate management standpoint, nor an estate in the state of Pennsylvania, nor does it cost more to probate the estate with or without a trust. What you get from a trust is you get efficiency and you get privacy. Um, all your assets are public to the extent they are subject to your will. If they're subject to a trust document, they're not. And that's what the state of Pennsylvania offers you, is the privacy of putting your assets in a trust and then using that to dispose of your assets just like your will would. So those are um, some of the more important parts of, do I need a plan? Answer yes. And how should I go about it? We welcome all your questions. If you have more questions, please give us a call.